Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, we're going to talk about clustering. Clustering is a form of unsupervised machine learning that allows us to look for patterns in our data. So for example, we have our data set, uh, our iris data set that we were working with for the scatter chart tutorial. And this is basically just all the points, the sepal uh, length versus the sepal width and the class thrown in there. So this is the actual data. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And we are going to use Power BI's clustering to try to mimic this and guess which, cl uh, which classes that each of these points fall into. And that's pretty easy. All we have to do is create another scatter chart. And let's throw in our sepal length and sepal width into the y-axis. And like from the last video, our index into the details with, uh, so that we can um, identify all of these points which okay so now all of the points are showing and all we have to do to add clustering is go to this three dots and automatically find clusters I want to make a note that this will only work if you set this scatter chart up the way we did if we got rid of the index and instead uh, click don't summarize we'd still get all of our points but for some reason we don't get the option to automatically find clusters so you need to ensure that you are summarizing in some fashion. It can be average or, or sum, as long as you have an identifiable uh, class in there, such as our index field. So now when we go to automatically find clusters, um, this is how it's set up. We can tell it how many classes we want to set up, which in this case, we know there are three in our data. So we'll go ahead and click three and that automatically adds this cluster to the legend and that looks pretty similar so you see how it can easily find this cluster up here this gets a little more scattered in here because our data is um, not as even down below so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and add one more um, if we use petal length and width that's a little bit more um, identifiable and the clusters are more differentiated so let's go ahead and add index and our class. So this is the base data using the petal length and width. Let's add our Power BI clustering with the petal length, petal width, index. And let's go through and automatically find clusters. There are three. And as easy as that, we now have our clustering. And that's pretty similar. There's, um, there's a couple of discrepancies in here but that totally makes sense. It finds those three clusters. So this is a very quick way to find patterns in your numerical data. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minutes.